The defending champions, Urawa Red Diamonds, welcome Pohang Steelers of Korea Republic to the Saitama Stadium in Tokyo, Japan on match day three. The Red Diamonds will be looking for three points at home to leapfrog the Steelers and put them back in charge of Group J. It's been a lively first 20 minutes with both teams working hard defensively and Pohang have some space here on the left-hand side with Huang and Jay. And it's met by Jay He and it's a deft little flick to steer it into the bottom right-hand corner. The goalkeeper Shusaku was left stranded. It's an absolutely lovely finish there. And here comes Zeka, Pohang on the attack again. Zeka rumbling forward into the penalty area, gets his shot away. And again, Shusaku is there with a strong left hand to parry that one away. Pohang starting to click in the first half. And they finished the first half strongly as well. It's Kim In-sung bearing down on goal, and his shot flashes past the post. Well, Pohang are a team known for playing well in big games, particularly in cup ties, and they're certainly rising to the occasion here. 1-0 as we go into the second half. And again, down the right-hand flank. It's Kim In-sung who squares the ball, and it's go Young chun Puts it back across the face of goal, and it's 2-0 to Pohang Steelers. Smart finish from Young Chun as he caps a great counter-attacking move. Pohang Steelers start the second half where they left off on the attack and it's a long way back for the defending champions now, who've been second best in most departments today. Here come Pohang Steelers again, the ball lofted in for Zeka, and it's a top save from that man, Shusaku Nishikawa. He keeps the score down to 2-0, but it's Pohang who have a corner in the 53rd minute. Comes out as only as far as Kim In-sung, and it's another top reflex save. Kim In-sung has had a big impact on the game since coming on. It's the Red Diamonds who have a corner, trying to get themselves back into the game. And it's blocked on the line. Great save from Huang in jae Made himself big to stop the shot from Akubo into the final 10 minutes of the game. And Polhang win the ball back again. They've been doing that all afternoon. And it's threaded through to Go Young chun Just fails to make it three for Polhang. But it's Polhang Steelers who take all three points back home with them to open up a four-point lead at the top of Group J. Red Diamonds just couldn't break down the stubborn defence. But credit to Polhang who put in a professional display. The reverse fixture is on the 8th of November. And it looks like the Reds will have to win it if they hope to catch Polhang. Final score, 2-0.